YouTube, it's KMCCMK9 Master Tech here, and um, here we go, Tech News of the Week. This is our first episode. Um, it's going to come out every, hopefully every Friday night, uh, if worse comes to worse, Saturday morning, depending on what tech news I may be waiting for to get the last report of. Um, and basically it's just going to fill you in on everything that's going on in the tech world. So today we have about 30 things to talk about, but it'll all be probably under 5 minutes. Um, as always, links will be in the description for, I think, all the articles except for ones that are kind of just discussion topics. Anyway, let's get started. So, first, Flash is dead. That's what they're saying. I don't know. What do you think? Do you really think Flash is dead? I mean, now with HTML5, you know, that opens up a whole new thing for uh, video playing. As even video games, uh, you know, the online Flash games are being taken over by HTML5. You know, I've played really good stuff in HTML5, but i played bad stuff, too. I mean, and the good thing with Flash is I had a lot of other coding stuff you could do with it that you can't do with HTML5. But I'd like to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments. Moving on, now we have PC gaming. They're saying that's dead, too. This one I don't agree with. They're saying it's dead um, because people are going to pay for the console, which is you know, 200, 300 bucks for the same hardware that's in your computer to play the same game. Well, I don't, personally, PC gaming to me is not dead. And for me, it's because I think I get much better graphics out of my computer, number one. And number two, when you use a computer, you have a much better uh, modding capability. So if something, you want a different skin, you want a different car, you different whatever, you have much more possibilities versus the console, which is very locked down. So I think that's a positive to it, too. But I'd like to know what you think. I mean, they're saying that Valve, yeah, who also, and Steam, have brought PC gaming back from the dead. But what do you think? Do you really think PC gaming is dead? T-Mobile customers, you might be in luck. There's a new unlimited data plan coming out. Good job. Okay. Now, a uh, new Apple USB cable has been leaked onto the internet, uh, new pictures of it at least, and it is different. The connector is actually a smaller connector than any other standard iPod connection, um, and basically the rumors took off and they're hinting that this could be for the next either iPad Mini or larger iPod Touch or the next iPhone, something like that. Link to that picture will be in the description as long as... Uh, as well as an article. AT&T FaceTime, are you an AT&T FaceTime user? Well, AT&T blocked down their FaceTime for iPhone users. Basically, you had to have the mobile data plan where you share it between people in order for you to FaceTime. And people are saying they're going against the laws of open internet, basically. What do you think? Do you really think they are, or do you, do you think they violated the open internet by doing that? I mean, since then, AT&T has put out a press release saying that they are going to change it and bring it to 3G and 4G network. But what do you think? Do you think they trespassed on the open internet? I'd like to know. Windows 8 Gaming. Okay. If you are a gamer, do not get Windows 8. That is basically the main point here. There's not much else to be said. It runs horribly trying to switch between that lovely Windows 8 GUI versus a regular old desktop, doing things like that. The way programs are called and run and everything else is just horrible for gaming. Gaming development is horrible. It's just bad. Don't do it. The good thing is, if you are a game developer, and you use the Unity game engine, which is very popular, Windows 8 will work and be friendly with that. So, some games may work, but other ones, like GTA, probably won't. Okay, now there's a new Nikon Android camera coming out, which is the first of its kind. They actually beat Samsung to the punch, and it looks pretty cool. It's uh, pretty compact, but it's running a little small portion of Android and mostly to share the photos that you're taking between your friends and family using their phones and stuff like that. So, I think it's going to be a cool idea. I'd like to see it develop further, but we'll see where it goes. 
Now, uh, if you log into your Facebook.com account and you go to your messages, you'll see that they've come up with a completely new layout, side-by-side -side layout. Supposedly, it makes it easier, makes it look like every other email client possible. So, hopefully you'll like that. Um, however, Facebook search has been modified to include paid ads. Boo, ads suck, but whatever. Facebook also updated their mobile app. So for your um, Apple devices, they've updated it. And what they did is um, it used to run an HTML5 and it was really slow, clunky, didn't work all the time, blah, 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 blah. They basically redesigned the whole thing using the actual development tools that Apple is, gives you. Or you pay for, really. But, and they've updated it, so make sure you update. It's so much better, I promise. Moving on, there's this new product called the iTypewriter, which is really interesting. It is an old-fashioned typewriter, but it actually clicks up and types on your iPad for you. It's really interesting. It, just check the link. Okay, the next thing is a flying hovercraft bike. <laughs> we have a flying hovercraft bike prototype. There you go. Blackberry! Oh my god. How many times have you heard Blackberry and things are going wrong or things are going right? Well, <clears throat> this is one good thing. Businesses that have Blackberry Enterprise servers, their new Blackberry 10 server will be compatible with all and any Blackberry device. So it doesn't matter if you're Blackberry 6, doesn't matter if you're Blackberry 7. Doesn't matter, it'll just work. So, way to go Blackberry. That was a good move. And Canadian people out there, welcome to Spotify. Spotify has come to can Canada. So hopefully you enjoy that. Okay, and if you're a YouTube video maker, even just not a YouTube video maker, you know a little bit about codecs and compression and file size, right? Well, the standard or most commonly used codec with compression is H.264. Well, they just came out with another one, and let me tell you, it's actually really decent. It's called HEVC. I don't really know what it stands for. Don't quote me, but it, I know it's HEVC. And what it is, is it's actually very identical to H.264, except in the end, it is half, half the size of an H.264 file. Doesn't get much better than that. That's really small. Are you watching this on a mobile device? iPad, iPhone, Android, Blackberry? Well, the good news for you, you can skip the ads now. So instead of having to sit through and watch the ad, you can actually skip the ad on your mobile device. That's good. iPad Mini. Supposedly this is going to be in a press release from Apple soon. I don't know if it's really an iPad Mini or if it's just the next iPhone. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be an iPad Mini or an iPhone? Or do you think it's going to be both? Let me know. Now, ironically, lately, there's been an iMac shortage. Um, and, of course, this has led to rumors that Apple is clearing out their inventory and making room for the next set of iMacs. Which leads me into the next point, which is supposedly the next iMac is going to be touchscreen. Or at least be capable of doing touchscreen. Now that would be cool. iMac is already awesome, but adding a touchscreen is just even better. Now Apple is to hold two separate release events for each de for each device. So an iPhone or an iPad and an iMac or something. I don't know. Amazon. Do you use it? Do you trade in your Apple, uh, you know, gadgets there? Well, if you trade in an iPhone, beware, they're not going to give you actual cash, they're going to give you Amazon books, or Amazon cash. So, just as a heads up, you may not want to do that. You may want to go with Gazelle or something like that. <coughs> and below, I have a link for if your Facebook account has been hacked, some good preventative measures, some things you can do like that. Now, there's this really cool wireless router that just came out, and, um, you know... If you 
or a server admin of some sort or a network admin to configure your router, be it put a simple password on it, other things like that. You have to like log in 192.168.1.1 or you know something like that and go through the whole process. Well, now they have a router with a touch screen on the side of it that allows you to do all that configuration just from the side of your router. Perfect, right? Exactly. Sony. Are you kidding me, Sony? You've decided to come out with a bigger TV than we already have. They have come out with a 84-inch TV. 84-inch. Where the heck am I going to put an 84-inch TV? Now, two more pieces of news and then we're done here. One, if you're an Xbox Live person, Happy Wars is coming out, and it's free to you if you're an Xbox Live Gold member. Hooray, free game. Come on, not bad, right? And our last bit of news is you probably heard between the Samsung and Apple trial. Patent wars between them. One infringed on this one, this one infringed on that one. Well, the judge has ruled that Samsung is ordered to pay Apple a billion dollars in patents lawsuits. Thanks for watching and hope this was helpful and if you liked it please give a thumbs up that way I know I should make more. If not, give it a thumbs down and I'll never make another one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.